Uh, Ottinger in same uh, lineup as uh, in Colorado. Uh, Asselindel is. Good. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he uh, he left that game blocked shot. Everything was negative. Came back and the game finished. He's a little, little sore yesterday, but he's he's good to go today. And you're coming off a couple of games that have been real playoff atmospheres. Edmonton, Colorado. Yeah. Now you have a couple of teams coming up that don't really have as much to play for. Yeah. Maintain that momentum going into this home stretch. Well, you know, we, we were talking to our group this morning. Like this is a very dangerous team. You look at their lineup. Um, you know, it, it's it's a better team and a more dangerous team than their record indicates. And uh, a lot of skill, a lot of speed. A team that if you're not paying attention and don't have detail in your game can easily put up five or six goals on you. You know, they're not one of those non-playoff teams that has trouble scoring where, you know, if you're off a little bit, you know, you're still in the game. Like, the, the, because of their skill level, if you don't have detail in your game, you know they can put four or five goals on you pretty quick, and then and then you know it's really hard to to outscore uh, mistakes like that. So you know we got to be we got to be real careful here tonight. Uh, Essa seems like he's been trying a few more things offensively. At, you know maybe that's just us from up top looking. Yeah. Does playing with Tanev one help, and two, how important is that for him to? Yeah. In these things. Yeah, you know, S has got a, 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 you know, he's got hidden offensive instincts. He really does. Uh, you know, he's got great timing, jumping into holes. He's got a, a better shot and better vision than people think. The play to Benner the other night's a good example of that. Um, so we need that out of him. I mean, we've been pushing all our D from day one here to tr to try and add that. I thought he did last year, um, and I thought this year he did stretches too. Maybe not as much, but uh, you know. It's a it's a big part of what we're doing, and and he has good instincts to do it. So we need him to do it. And on defense as well, Nils has kind of uh, got pushed aside a little bit in the richer parts of games. Is that just part of growing up, and just that you're getting closer to the playoffs? Tough, tough decisions, you know. We got to win games, so you know that's that's you got to make decisions with the entirety of your lineup every night. Uh, uh, on who can help you close, you know, it's a, it's a different world than, than September, October, November right now. And so, then Akinpa closer. Yeah. Good, good, uh, good progress. Uh, both him and Dadanoff are, are skating up in Frisco. Um, you know, there's a chance they both could rejoin practice potentially tomorrow. So that's a good sign. Your road record last year was a franchise record for wins and points. And then you beat it this year. Yeah. Not a coincidence. Yeah. Uh, coaching players, the, the, this is something the franchise has never seen. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's our group, and it starts with our leadership. I mean, they get full marks for that. You know, I, I think any team you coach that is good on their road in that environment, you, you, you automatically have to look at, their leadership group in the dressing room because those are the guys that that get the group dialed in and ready to go and and playing the right way and giving yourself a chance to win so um you know we've got lots of that uh, in that room and and that's that's a direct reflect reflection of that uh with these four home games there's a really good chance you're starting at home in the playoffs is there do you look at anything here quote unquote getting your game in order at home or is it just play each um you know i i think our you know Beating Edmonton five nothing at home is pretty good order of your game at home. <laughs> you know, I, I you know, I, I'm not I'm not concerned if you if you tell me in the playoffs we get to play at home and sleep in our own beds instead of going on the road, I think you throw out the regular season records and you know, I think any anybody will take being at home in those situations. So we'll we'll be ready, we'll be fine at home. Pete, I, I know there's bigger goals for this team, but 50 wins has only happened four times in the history of this franchise. Does that number mean anything in terms of regular season success? Uh, you know, you, I, I think those are things you think about maybe over the summer in reflection or when you're looking back on the on the season. We're, we're not thinking about that now. What we're thinking about is is trying to lock up the division, lock up the conference, you know, put some pressure on the Rangers for the President's Trophy. Um, you know, you're still hunting the teams and the goals 
above you. You're not thinking about reflecting yet on what, what you've accomplished. I think that's, that's summer stuff. Is chasing the division, the conference, and the, the league helpful as far as trying to get your game right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I, uh, I think it's, it's really important to play meaningful games down the stretch to have yourself ready. I think, you know, probably the best example of that, you know, over the last 10 years has been Tampa and, and Boston who ran away with the league and then all of a sudden in the first round you're, you're, you're looking around and saying what happened. Um, and that's real, you know. These everybody that's playing desperation hockey down the stretch, it, you don't have to turn it back on. You're not looking to find another level come playoff time. You're already in that moment, so I, I think that's important. In this last stretch of ten, as Buffalo, and we're going to talk about how well your last stretch of ten yeah. start our show. There's probably many, I understand, but what characteristics of the game did you see coming for your group, perhaps, that has led to this? Yeah, just. just play at this time yeah just just a heightened uh awareness of detail you know I, I think in our game um you know I, I think through the first six seven months we 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 found out we could score you know um you know it was critical for us to to recognize the importance of the detail uh outside of the offensive part of the game down the stretch the importance of that come playoff time and We've got we've got a group of players in that room that have been through deep playoff runs, and so they recognize it. And I just think it was a, a heightened awareness of that and, and attention to detail um, on on those things, you know. And I think when you have that in place, you know, we, you're not thinking about the results, you, and the results take care of themselves. So I think we we dialed that in over the last probably I think probably six eight weeks. What's impressed you most, like breakouts of your zone? Or? Uh, I, I think I think detail everywhere, okay. detail detail everywhere. Um, you know, obviously defending. Um, you know, but when you say defending, that doesn't just mean D zone. That means reloading and tracking back and back pressure and uh, you know. So I mean, you know, it's 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 everything. Neutral zone forecheck. Um, you know, stick positioning, all, all those things. I think, uh, you know, we've just, we, it was a heightened awareness and our group, you know, has kind of uh, risen to the occasion and, and incorporated that more consistently. I think we've done it a good job of it all year, but there's been a much more consistent effort the last six, eight weeks from everybody. Thank you. Last season, you all made it to the Western Conference Finals. Uh, is your approach different this year and does it feel any different than last year? Yeah, um, so that's a great question. Um, every, every year, I mean, I, I, I love our group. I love our, 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 the opportunity that's in front of us. Um, but there's eight or ten coaches standing up at a podium today saying the exact same thing in, in their respective cities and, and with reason because they've got very good teams that are playing really well right now too. So, uh, you know, I, I've been on enough deep runs to know that um, it's really tough to win one round in this league, never mind get to a conference final or, or a Stanley Cup final. So, you know, we, we love our group. We love where we're at. I like where our game's at. But, you know, you've got to get into the playoffs and, and, uh, and make that translate. And, you know, there's another team that – another very good team you're going to be playing that's going to have something to say about that. You watch the Eclipse? I didn't know. I uh... – I actually had a massage. I didn't know like how big of a deal it was, <laughs> and I feel like I missed out on it. But uh, my fiance took a cool video of it in our backyard, so I kind of got to experience it. But like, yeah, I, I didn't know like I don't know. I don't watch the news or anything, so I didn't like see like that it was gonna be a big deal. So I'll catch the next You'll one for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, home and road has been a little bit different for you guys this year. The record's good. The numbers are a little bit different. Is there anything in these four home games that you guys can do as a team to get ready for the playoffs? Because there's a good chance you'll have home ice advantage. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, like, the reasoning behind that. Um, just I think we're all happy with in the last couple road games we've played uh, recently and uh, just kind of build on those. You just mentioned how you don't watch the news. You can get dialed in. 
Does 50 wins mean something to, to this team? Because it's only happened four times in the history of this franchise, and you guys are on 49. I mean, like, it's not something we're, like, going to put on the whiteboard before the game, but, like, we obviously, I mean, you, you want to set all those records, and ultimately the only one that matters is if you win the cup or not. But at the end of the day, you know, you want to be remembered, and this group wants to be in the history books with that 99 team, obviously, and, uh, you know, those are cool milestones, and hopefully, like, can can do that and then continue to pick up milestones uh, in playoffs and stuff. How would you describe the last two weeks of your hockey playing life right now? Because the numbers, obviously, are, are very good, but just for you personally, how would you describe it? Yeah, I think it's been, it's been good hockey, you know, from the whole group, and um, just trying to work on some stuff and, you know, had some good things go my way and um, some guys have been playing real well in front of me and you know making some some good saves at some times and just feel confident right now and where my game's at and where it's headed and I mean just want to want to be playing my best come uh, April 20th. As good as the good times are that first goal probably is one you want to you want all back but let's, let's say that was one you wanted to come back from and then two Colorado's come back in these games before so there was pressure in that third period and you guys handled it very well. Yeah, I think uh, you know we're gonna have to, you know, know how to close out games, and uh, especially on the road, those are tough. And you know, we we did a good job, stayed out of the box, and uh, and just played well defensively. And um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to learn to be in that position if we want to get to where we want to go. And uh, you know, we showed a a great step in that direction of being able to play with the lead in a tough environment. Individually, are you better at it? You think as you go through more of these experiences? get older yeah I think everyone can learn from that I think uh, yeah like I've been in that position before obviously the whole team has and stuff so it's just about those habits and you know those one or two saves that you need to make in a you know that can decide a game so um, you know I've done that before in my career and feel confident I can do that going forward does that feel as good as a shutout I know shutouts are great and they're perfect but like when you do overcome whatever uh, it just seems like that's Everybody's, yeah. you know, I mean, feather in your cap or whatever they say. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think it was the worst goal I've ever let in my life. No, no, life, I'm not so. talking about that, but oh. the fact that all uh, that stuff is building up in a game like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I know, think, like. I mean, there was a chance that Colorado could come back, and then it becomes a for completely sure. different mental challenge. Yeah, so. for sure. I think especially with, you know, our track record against them this year, just, uh, yeah, and, like, it's just the maturity of the group and, uh, you know, obviously you get a 5-2 lead, like, you can start to think, hey, like, take your foot off the gas and a team like that can put two in your net pretty quick. So, yeah, just the maturity of the group and the, the steps that we've taken to, you know, be able to play with leads is, uh, is great and, you know, just... It's a, it was obviously a huge game. We knew how big that game was and just proud of the, the effort and like the little plays the guys made to get that job done. When you're in this position where you are controlling your own destiny in these last two weeks, how much do you pay attention to what's happening kind of lower down in the conference, the wild card kind of shifting every night? Are you looking at that? I think like, I mean, a little bit. Obviously, we all are just like hockey nerds, so we look at the, the scores and whatnot. But I think that's, like you said, just the best part of the whole thing is that we control our own destiny and we don't need to rely on anyone to get to the position we want to get to and um, you know we're focusing on winning the the Western Conference right now and if we take care of our business you know we can do that so that's the best position to be in and we've earned that and it's just uh, yeah and then from there I mean we feel like we can beat any team um, so you know we're going to watch and go back and forth and see but whoever uh, whoever we get uh, in that first round is we're going to be excited about it and it's going to be uh, a great challenge. What was the travel? Is that really hard or just kind of hard? Uh, yeah, it it felt like really hard. Yeah, it felt like a preseason game, but then we got to take a nap at the hotel, so that made it a lot better. So it was almost nice, like we got to chill in Chicago. We anyway. Yeah, exactly. So we got to chill in Chicago and get a good night's sleep there, and then yeah, just. It's all about how you look at it, I feel like. So it wasn't too bad. We started this conversation last week about just the ability to do more things offensively. One, have you been able to do that? And two, have you been enjoying that? <laughs> You've tried. Uh, I mean, offense is fun. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I guess. It looks uh. like you're getting more <laughs> opportunities and you're doing yeah. things a little bit differently because Chris Tan is there to help you out and play defense. Um, yeah, I don't see a big difference whoever I'm playing with, obviously. 
I've been enjoying playing with Chris so far, and it's been working well. So. What? Oh, go ahead. No, just Pete has mentioned in the past about playoff habits and getting them in place. Where are the playoff habits right now, and does this team have those playoff habits in place? Yeah, I think those are in a pretty good place. I mean, I think it's all those basic cliches. You manage the puck well, and you don't feed their game and kind of make them earn everything they want to get out. So, just <laughs> tough to say. During exactly. this nine and one run, you're out shooting the opposition by like eight shots a game. So, as a team, you are doing that. You're possessing the puck more. You're keeping the puck in the offensive end, and then you're winning games because of it. I mean, it really it works Probably out when you do helps, it. Yeah, it helps. Yeah. I would assume. I didn't know it's been that much. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe that's one way, or it shows how well we're playing lately. Do you feel like you're in the other team's end a lot? Because it looks like it from up top. Uh, you, it uh, no, you, each, just, every shift is different. Uh, yeah, I okay. just play out there. Are you feeling okay? And what's it like this time of year to have to kind of play through some things? I imagine a lot of you are. Yeah, oh, uh, feeling good. Nothing, nothing bad. Um, just hurt a little bit, obviously blocking a shot, but nothing major. And just excited to play tonight again. It's only happened four times in the history of this franchise. Does 50 wins mean anything to you? Because you're on 49 right now, and 50s only happened four times. Uh, I'm, it's like I mean, the, it's like the winning an, streak. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. don't I, talk about it. What do you ask Mira? I heard that the other day. Yeah, I would say the same thing as Mira. That, nah, I didn't know actually that we have 49. Just be focusing this one particularly today and just trying to get another win. But now you us. do know you have 49, yeah. thanks to us. Yeah. <laughs> so, pretty, good, pretty good so far. Yeah, you think all yeah. day about it. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah. Um, home and road, there's a very good chance you'll be uh, getting the home advantage in the playoffs. So this year, you've been a better road team. Is there anything in these four games you can do to make sure you're a good home team going into the playoffs? Um, <laughs> so Nothing comes to my mind. On the road, Nothing specific. Yeah, yeah on the road you're giving up like 2.4 goals per game. At home you're giving up like 3.2 goals per game. So oh, it's maybe, significant. Yeah. yeah. Tied up the defense maybe a little bit, and go from that. Obviously we can score goals, so play a little bit tighter this on. 